Air TV News broadcast crew and I, Delit Hai, are now ready for your daily news briefing at 10.30 local time. But first, let us catch up with the major headlines. Eritrea participates at the African Ministerial Conference on Environment. Praiseworthy activities by students, summer work in the Ansaba region. Resumption of ties between Saudi Arabia and Iran crucial for the regional security. Moscow financial hub targeted by drones. On our local news, Eritrea has participated at the 19th Ordinary Session of the African Ministerial Conference on the Environment that was held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia from 14 to 18 August. At the conference that was conducted under the team Seizing Opportunities and Enhancing Collaboration to Address Environmental Challenges in Africa, Eritrea was represented by a delegation led by Mr. Bayena Rosom, Eritrea's ambassador to Kenya. Addressing the conference focusing on Eritrea's stance on climate and climate change and challenge, Ambassador Bayana noted on importance of the strengthening cooperation and participation in the effort to address the challenge, as well as to ensure the sustainability of the biodiversity. The conference conducted extensive discussion on climate and climate change and measures that should be taken to control chemical and marine pollutions, transformation of the renewable energy, role and importance of minerals in transforming the renewable energy, the responsibility of the international community in financing and transferring technology, the conference also reviewing the global and regional conviction regarding the environment and adopted declarations and regulations that could support the effort to address the challenge that occurred due to the climate change and transformation of the renewable energy. Through the student summer work program in Ansaba region that was conducted from 8 July to 15 August, praiseworthy activities has been conducted. According to Mr. Meles Kaleta, coordinator of the program, the activities the students carried out included construction and renovation of terraces, planting tree seedlings, environmental sanitation supporting disadvantaged families, as well as renovation of dirt roads, among others. Mr. Meles went on to say that indigenous trees and others that are suitable with the climate conditions of the area were planted and he praised the contribution of the various administrations and the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry and Wildlife Authorities. The participants on their part expressed satisfaction for the participating in greening campaign and called on society to strengthen participation for the sustainability of the newly planted tree seedlings. Dear viewers, we'll be back with the international news shortly. Do stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. The re-establishment of the diplomatic relations between Saudi Arabia and Iran makes an essential moment for regional security. Saudi Arabia's Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Rahia Bir Farhan said on Thursday. Amir Abdullahian's visit to Riyadh follows the re-establishment of diplomatic relations between Riyadh and Tehran brokered by China in March. During the joint press conference held in Riyadh, Prince Faisal Saudi, said Saudi Arabia looks forward to strengthening bilateral relations and added that the kingdom has keen to activate the prior security and economic agreements with Iran. For his part, Amir Abdullahian described the discussion in Riyadh as a fruitful and that relations with the kingdom were moving in the right directions. Prince Faisal has made a landmark visit to Tehran in June, where he met with Amir Abdullahian and President Ibrahim Raisi. Under the deal signed in March, Riyadh and Tehran agreed to reopen embassies and consulates in each other's territories and implement securities and economic cooperation agreements that were signed over 20 years ago. The UAV was taken down in business district in Moscow, but did not cause any casualties and major damage, according to authorities, Ukraine once again targeted. The Russian capital business district with at least one drone intercepted and downed 
in high crisis of the Moscow city and local authorities and the defense ministry confirmed today in the morning hours. The Russian Defense Ministry confirmed in the briefing moment the drone was intercepted at around 4 a.m., causing it to crash in the non-residential complex in the business district. There was no immediate reports of casualties or injuries, but emergency services are working at the scene, according to the authorities. All the flights and, and the airports in southwestern Moscow were briefly suspended as a precaution. In recent weeks, Ukraine has ramped up its attempt to target Moscow with one drone strike that has been mostly unsuccessful. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, Ukraine had lost more than 43,000 service members and almost 5,000 pieces of military equipment since the start of the counteroffensive in early this June. On our last news. A strong earthquake of 6.3 magnitude struck Colombian capital Bogota on Thursday, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, prompting frightened residents to flee into the streets and leading a woman to fall to her death. According to CGS, the earthquake struck at 12 p.m. with intercepted town of El Calvario in the center of the country, 40 kilometers southeast of Bogota. This was followed by five Point nine magnitude aftershock minutes later. Colombia's Civil Defense Agency noted residents has been evacuated in the entire municipality of Calvario. Buildings shock and sirens sounded as thousands of panicked residents poured into the streets of capital, according to the reports. Dear viewers, we've come to the end of tonight's news. Let's have a quick recap of the headlines. Eritrea participated at African Ministerial Conference on Environment. Praiseworthy activity by students, summer work and program in the Saba region. Resumption of ties between Saudi Arabia and Iran crucial to the regional security. And Moscow financial hub targeted by a drone. That is all with our local and international news, dear viewers. Thanks for watching and have a good night.